Um, a couple other things to note within here is a uh, countdown. Um, at the beginning of the service, you're going to have um, the pre-service slides going. And over here, you see our countdown area. Hey there. How you doing? Good, you? Good. Good. Now, if you click on countdown, this little box will pop up. Um, you might not be able to see it right now. It's on the next screen, but it's showing 0, 0.00. If I set this up to five minutes, like we typically do at the beginning of a service, hit play, that will start counting down. And you'll see a bar, a uh, black bar with the countdown going on. To get rid of this, I'll click the key button and turn that off. Now it's going to disappear. Again, turn it back on. Good to go. Um, also down here is an additional text area. We use this for children's ministry. If, uh, some, if a parent needs to go help with their kid, we can you know, type child number 104, three. Hit the key button. Now that's going to show up at the very top. Um, obviously, you can't see it on this screen, but if you, ha if you had the second screen like I do right now, you'd see child 103 put up there. Um, I'll turn that off because I don't need it. I'll turn the countdown off. Um, if I wanted to pause the countdown, I could. I could reset it. Um, I might just type in a new numbers. Uh, if you need to edit the countdown clock, you go over here. Oops, sorry, no, that turns it on and off. You go over here, countdown clock, edit. And this is going to set up where on the screen the countdown clock shows up as well as um, the font, the size of it, all that. Um, I would recommend leaving it on the bottom lower third here with a black background. That way it's going to uh, show up over any graphics you've got going on with the announcement 